Hi, Brian McCorder here from Safeopedia with another safety moment. Fun fact for you, no football coach in history has ever had to convince his or her team to want to win a game. It's natural for us in competition to want to win. Safety is no different. We don't have to convince people to stay safe. Most of us don't want to get hurt. The problem is a lack of knowledge, a lack of skill, or a lack of ownership, or dilemmas where we feel like the goal, achieving the goal of production or staying on the timeline with the construction site or whatever is more important than our safety is. So we'll do what we need to do to get the job done. Really, the way that football coach empowers his team to win is by focusing on their skills, developing them as players, that is what influences that scoreboard and makes them a winning team. Unfortunately, this is something that we will get backwards in safety quite often. I'll see more attention giving to those safety numbers, like uh, total recordable incidences, lost time accidents, near misses. They'll focus more attention over the spreadsheet and analyzing the numbers than focusing on the players that actually would drive the score, influence those numbers. Again, we can't so much influence the people by focusing on the numbers, but we can influence those numbers by focusing on the people. Again, just like that football team, people want to stay safe, but we need to invest in good safety programs, in training and empowering our employees to stay safe. So my question to you is, how much time and effort, energy and money do you spend investing on the safety of your employees through good training and safety programs? Or do you focus most of your attention on those numbers and trying to uh, find ways to improve them, telling people to work safe, to reduce those uh, high TRC numbers or reduce your amount of incidents that you have through the course of the year? Again, think like the football coach. Let's invest our time and energy on helping our team to win rather than giving all that energy to the scoreboard. People want to win the game, and we want to stay safe. We just need to help them to do it. Till next time, Brian McCorder with Safeopedia. Stay safe.